Well, guys, it's Friday, and it's time for the Firebird Friday video. And today you're thinking, great, it's just an oil change video on an old car, Brian. Big deal, right? Nope. Doesn't matter if you're doing oil changes on a classic Pontiac or your normal daily driver. I have something that I've been using for years every time I do an oil change, and it's in this can right here. And if you want to find out what that is and where you can find it, you're going to have to stick around to the end to find out what that is. So with that, let's warm this engine up, let's empty the uh, oil out, let's do an oil change, and let's add this to it, and let's see if it's going to help out. And the reason we're doing this is because last week, I wanted to take my 67 Firebird to Firebird Fest 23 in St. Louis, but I heard a little bit of a knocky noise, and that tells me something ain't right inside, kind of like a rod knock. So we're going to see if this little can will at least help extend a life. It won't fix the issue, but maybe it'll extend the life so we can get through summer enjoying our firebirds so this winter we can start building that 400 for it so i'm gonna shut up let's get to wrenching on this week's episode of firebird fridays Well, let's get this hood open. Good, good. We'll take this off so we can put some oil in there. Now it's Jack's car. Up. Oh, she sure is black. I can do feel smell faint smell of gasoline. Whew, we man, it is hot. Phoenix, Arizona, in the summertime, it, you just you there's nothing you can do to keep cool except for maybe have a cold beer when you're doing something. Let me have a cold beer. We'll let that drain so we can then pull out that oil filter, get a new oil filter back on, fill it up, oil filter, get new oil in this. And I'm going to show you what we're going to put in that little special can to maybe help save this motor. I'll tell you a story about that, but let me get a beer real quick here. Man, I tell you, I was really wanting to take that Firebird to Firebird Fest in St. Louis last week, but whoosh, just that noise was just, just a little bit too much for me, so I don't know. Who the hell put this shit in my beer cooler? Son of a, damn it. Ah, that was either Louie Luan from there over there at uh, First Generation Garage, or that was Jonathan over at Vinyl Village Garage or Firebird Restoration Station, as he's also known by. <coughs> Those guys, they're always up tricks. They like tricks. Hmm. What can I do for tricks? Okay, with that, let's get to filling this back up with what I like to use in old cars. Use some Rotella 1540 weight oil. Now, my 67 Porsche that I have, I like to run Valvoline VR1, which is a racing oil. It's a 2550 weight. I think that's a little too heavy for this old Pontiac motor, but we'll put in this 1540. So let's get going on that and get this done. I'm, I'll never get this taste in my mouth. And I always like to use wicks. Today I'm using a 51 258 filter. Go ahead and just add a little bit of this to the filter. Fill it up there. And I take my finger and I rub it around that rubber seal. That was good and tight. Now, this Pontiac motor here, it takes five quarts plus a six quart if you replace the oil filter, which we did. So we'll go ahead and we know this here is about four quarts, one U.S. gallon. 
I'll just go ahead and get this in. Okay, so remember, six quarts. So U.S. gallon has four quarts. So we need half of this one to complement. Now make sure you check your owner's manual for how much oil, what type of oil to use in your motor if you're not doing a Pontiac. Old school V8. Now you're probably curious about what is in this can. Well, it's MOA. And it's designed by BG Products. And the story goes, back about 27 years ago, actually more than 20 years ago now, a buddy of mine owned a used car dealership in Gallup, New Mexico, and the BG guy came in and sold him on MOA. And here's how he sold him on it. He said, you're buying these used cars, you're doing an oil change on these cars before you put them on a lot. Add a can of MOA to every one of those cars, and you're going to reduce the amount of customers that bring the cars back for engine failure because of owner neglect. So the guy at BG said, hey, if you have an old vehicle that you know is getting ready to die on you, throw in some MOA in a fresh oil change, run it with MOA in it for about a week or so, drain the oil, don't put any more oil in it, and see how long it lasts with no oil with just the residue coating of MOA in that motor. Well, there was a parts truck that all the lot kids used to run get parts or lunches or whatever they needed to. It was an old Ford pickup, the V8. F-150, if I remember correctly. Anyways, they did just that. They put the MOA in on a fresh oil change, drove it around for about a week or so, drained the oil, put the plug back in, did not add any more oil, and that truck ran for almost two weeks with just the residue of the MOA in it. Since then, now, I make sure that everything I do, except for my Porsche, has MOA. And there's a link down below where you can buy it too on Amazon. And yes, it's an affiliate link and you'll make me a nickel, but trust me, this is some good stuff. We're gonna use it in the car. We'll just pour it in here. Excellent. Okay, that's MOA, link down below. Trust me, try it for yourself. It might just make a difference for you. Oh, and it still has the, uh, the thing in the bottom. This is, there's a little red like thing in the bottom there to help with circulation and stuff. Anyways, MOA, link down below. Let's button this up. All right, we'll get this on. Let's go start it up. Well, oil change is done. We've got that can of MOA in the engine. That should be helping it out. I don't hear that ticking noise as we heard earlier in the video. I think it's a win. So I think we're going to wrap up this Friday's video for the Firebird. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, hope you've enjoyed the content. Maybe learned a little thing about our MOA stuff. There's a link down below where you can get yourself some as well. Awesome. Hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. It helps us grow the channel. And again, share this video out with friends and family if you don't mind. So with that, I will see you next Friday for another episode of Firebird Fridays. <music>